Okay. I would say happy Thursday. But I've had a hard week. I'm going to say happy Thursday anyways. Because um, I hope you're having a happy Thursday. Um, I'm outside, so you're going to get a lot of ambient noise. The, the insects are super loud. The cars I had a bird fly at me this morning. That was fun. Um, let me say, let me kind of tell you where I've been. This has been a hard week for me. Um, not a bad week, um, but sometimes in the hardness there are really difficult things that you have to deal with. So I had a lot of meetings, there's some situations I was having to deal with. Um, and so you get to, kind of to the end of the week and I go like, I, you, I realize I've expended way more energy than I have refilled. And so this is really important to kind of help put a little bit back in me. We're trying to find some guidance in this difficult week. Um, of course, I go to scripture because it's just chock full of truths and assurances um, that can help you in difficult times. And I come across this teaching by Paul in 2 Corinthians where he's writing the church of Corinth and says, I am greatly encouraged that all that, that I'm hearing um, and my joy abounds in spite of all of my troubles. <laughs> And so Paul sets these up as almost opposite, like, like I'm going through all this stuff. It's really hard. It's difficult. I've had to deal with some, some hard stuff. He's in prison. And so there's that. But then there's this thing that, that's called joy that exists at the same time, which is not a new revelation for me. I mean, I am not an either-or person, so I know that you can experience two competing opposite things at the same time. So Paul is saying... I have all this hard stuff going on, and yet I'm experiencing joy that's, that abounds. That's just, that's more than regular joy. That's big joy. And so he's saying a couple of things. One is that joy almost has to exist in difficult times. It's like hope. You don't need hope when things are going great. You need hope when things are difficult. So joy is the same kind of thing. You don't need joy when everything's going great. You're happy. We all want happiness. Um, joy is something deeper and more profound that almost needs to exist in difficult times when, when things get really hard um, and, and like I said I know that I didn't go oh you know and have it all figured out but when I read the passage it took me back to to a story about Jesus that I think really helped me kind of put into perspective what needs to happen in order to experience this joy um, in the account of Jesus, right after he was baptized, he was led out in the wilderness to be tempted. And, and there were three issues he had to face, which if we put them in modern application, we, we all have to do. Um, a, a dependence, um, an overemphasis on material possessions, turn this rock into bread. Um, the lure of being light, of attention. <laughs> you jump off this cliff and the angels will catch you and everyone will see it. And, and they'll go like, oh, they'll ooh and they'll ah, oh, like the greatest insta post ever and then Satan said if you bow down before me all of this will be yours you'll have all this power instantly to compromise yourself to gain power honestly this is just me I don't think Jesus was tempted to worship Satan um, all of us can say the kind of, same kind of thing I wake up in the morning and go like ah, I wonder if I should worship Satan today um, his temptation was the lure of power and so what we see in the temptations of Jesus is probably what Paul went through from having everything and being at the top of um, the heap to being in prison is learning to let go of these things that steal our joy. To let go of the pursuit of material things, of stuff, of newest, latest, shiniest, whatever. Uh, the lure of likes, of attention. Notice me, notice me. And then the lure of power, to have influence, to be able to make the people around you do what's easier for you. And it's funny, a lot of the stuff that was hard for me this past week kind of is tied into some of those things where you have to deal with just making it through life and paying bills and those kind of things and and, and wanting to be liked and, and, and needing more power, needing more influence. And what Paul seems to be saying is that, that he has found joy, that joy abounds when he's learned to let all of these go. So... This is going to be a challenge for me, and I kind of want to see if it'll help you in any way. That if you're going through a difficult time, if, it, if you're having a hard time experiencing joy, that it might be you're holding on to things that don't bring joy, that actually steal joy. 
and that it's in the midst of those difficult times, not when they go away, that you experience this joy that Paul says abounds. So kind of do an inventory of what's going on in your life. Where are you being drawn toward? What are the things that are being placed in front of you? It's material possessions, it's attention, it's influence, it's power, that you're pursuing those and they're stealing joy rather than this thing that only a relationship with Christ can bring. So ask yourself some tough questions this week about any joy that you're feeling or any joy that you're not feeling. Um, we're, we're back in person this week. We have a lot of stuff going on. In fact, a lot of our meetings were, you know, gearing up for the fall. We need volunteers in a major way. We have way more kids in our nursery than, than we have volunteers for. Um, I know all calls don't work, but man, if you could volunteer in our children's area, preschool area, student, our youth area, ushers, greeters, coffee spot, tech, um, we will not throw you in the deep end. We will pair you up with someone and let you kind of grow your skill set in that area. But man, please contact us if you're interested. We'll make more of a push for that later. Uh, thank Kristen for such a great job this past Sunday. We're finishing up our little three this Sunday. There's all sorts of content online, videos, and study guides to help you kind of dig deeper if you're interested with those. Then we start a really cool series in August. Everything you need to know is online, all our social media, download our app, check out our website. Uh, we are doing all that we can to try to keep you informed. Um, share those with people who um, don't know everything that's going on. I'm not going to go through all the specific announcements. Um, just watch us. Go to our social medias to find out everything that's going on. So, I didn't say it big time at the beginning, but I'm going to say happy Thursday now. But not happiness Thursday. Um, may joy abound for you and in you this upcoming week. So see you Sunday. Take care and uh, have a great one.